for Bocconi University, which is located in Milan, Italy. I actually am stationed in Chicago, um, so I am in the U.S., um, and I am the North American liaison, so for any questions, um, concerns after the presentation, you can always feel free to reach out to me. But this evening, I'm here to kind of give you a little bit um, of information about what studying at a university in Europe, uh, and more specifically at Bocconi University, um, would be like. Okay, so, and we did a poll and, um, okay, so I guess students are still um, doing the poll at this point. So um, if you can tell me um, whether you're a ninth, 10th, 11th or 12th grader, that would be great. And also if you're planning on studying abroad, that would be fabulous. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Okay, I just am not sure how to get rid of the poll. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Oh, what happened here? Okay, so a little bit about Bocconi's history. Um, Bocconi, uh, well, first of all, Bocconi is a private institution in, located in Milan. We began in 1902. We were established by Ferdinando Bocconi, who was an entrepreneur in Milan, and he actually started the first department stores. So that is a fun fact. One of our first exchange programs began in 1974, um, and we offered our first Bachelor of Science in, uh, taught in the English language in 2001. We are a campus of 14,900 students, 7,900 of which are undergrads. We have over 100 nationalities represented on campus and a student body uh, that is 41% international. Okay, Bocconi is very highly ranked um, and well known within Europe and abroad. So the QS ranks us third in business and management in Europe. They rank us seventh in business and management worldwide. The Financial Times also ranks Bocconi as fifth best European Union business school. Bocconi, we have a international network of 282 partner universities in 54 countries. So students who come to Bocconi and study at Bocconi still have opportunities to study abroad. Um, and many of our students actually take advantage of those opportunities. We have great career services and recruiting on campus. We have 4,000 employers that are involved in recruiting events. Um, many, well, 7,000 of our students, seven, more than 7,000 of our students have been offered internship and job opportunities on JobGate. We have 120,000 alumni worldwide. Um, and we have 94% of our students are employed one year after graduation. Almost 33% work abroad one year after graduation and 73% are actually employed on graduation day. Some of the employers that come to campus to recruit are listed here. And as you can see, they are multinational firms that you would recognize. There are 4,500 multinational companies located in Milan. So we're actually in a really great place for recruiting events. And then, um, so not only do our recruiting events actually happen on our campus, but they happen at various locations within the EU. And so I think you can recognize quite a few names on this list. Okay, so I'll give you a little more information now about the undergraduate school. So as I mentioned earlier, the undergraduate student body is um, approximately 7,900 students and 42% of which are international. Half of our classes are actually reserved for international students. 
and all of our programs are taught in English. So you do not need to speak any Italian um, to apply, nor do you need to speak any Italian upon um, enrollment and arrival in Italy. I, um, I tell students that I don't speak any Italian and I speak with my Italian counterparts and colleagues on a daily basis via email and meetings, Zoom meetings um, and team meetings. And they are absolutely completely fluent in the English language and classes will be taught completely in the English language um, with complete fluency. Okay, so we also um, offer five fields of study, which are economics, finance, management, data science, and maths for artificial intelligence and political science. We have eight programs that are taught entirely in the English language. Seven of the programs are three years bachelor's, which is not uncommon for a European um, ec educational system. Um, so those seven, the first seven that you see in our list um, have their own application through Baconi's website. We do have one program called the World Bachelor in Business, which is a four-year program. And it is a joint degree between the University of Southern California, Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, and Baconi. And in that program, students actually study um, one year at USC, one year at Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, one year at Bocconi, and then they get to select their fourth year um, in, on whatever continent they prefer. So it's a very, very unique program. So as far as our program structure goes, all of our programs have a very unique focus and specific content. However, um, they are structured similarly. And this, this um, slide should sort of show you, you know, what to expect in each year. So in the beginning, all of our students are um, expected to come for welcome days, which is basically Bocconi's orientation, where you'll be taught um, basic math skills again, and also kind of an intro to a conversational Italian. We will also be um, providing you with compulsory courses, um, you know, or the ones that are deemed necessary to succeed um, in your first year, along with IT skills. And typically students will take the Italian language as their first foreign language in the first year. In the second year, there's a little bit more freedom for students to begin selecting electives towards their you know, area of interest within their field of study. Um, they also will be taking a second foreign language and there's more of an emphasis on soft skills such as you know, collaboration in the classroom and teamwork um, and leadership, um, presentation opportunities, those kinds of things. In the third year, students will have um, an even greater choice of elective courses. There's that's also the time when students can choose to go on the on an exchange program if they would like. Um, they can also do an internship, and then finally they do a thesis in the third year. Okay, and then a little bit about admissions. Um, so the way that Bocconi actually. Um, evaluate students is on school transcripts. Typically, we will look at sophomore and junior year grades or second and third year grades from high school. We also do require the SAT or ACT. Um, there's also a third option, which is called the Bocconi test. And I can get into specifics on the Bocconi test after this, um, as you know, a lifelong educator, my recommendation is that if you've been trained in your high school to take an ACT or an SAT, I personally would uh, recommend that you stick with those formats over taking the Bocconi test. However, that being said, if you do not have access to the ACT or SAT, or if you just prefer taking the Bocconi test, that is definitely an option. So also, Bocconi would like to see a CV or resume um, that includes all of your extracurricular activities that you've been involved in as a high school student, and then a personal statement, which Bocconi really calls a motivational letter. In some cases, a language certificate is also required, but for most students studying in North America in an English language-based program, the language certificate is not necessary. Something else that applicants can consider for Bocconi is um, you can actually select up to four programs to apply to. Um, and I think I mentioned it earlier, but I'll repeat it just in case. 
So for the seven programs that are three-year bachelor's programs that are taught entirely at Bocconi's campus in Milan, those programs you will be applying through the My Application Portal on the Bocconi website. Um, and then for the World Bachelor in Business, which is the joint degree program, that application actually is on the Common App and you apply through the University of Southern California. Okay. So what is our timeline? So um, Bocconi being um, a European university actually had a very, very early um, session round, um, which ended in June of this year, which um, I would not expect many of the students listening to tonight's webinar to have known about, nor to have been prepared for. So please don't worry about that early session deadline. Um, our next session for applications is opening on November 15th, and it will run through January 25th of 2022. And this is the application session that I would recommend that students listening this evening uh, would target if you are interested in applying to Bocconi. Um, so as you can see here, um, the Bocconi test, with the way that the Bocconi test is run is first students apply, and then once the application round is actually closed, Bocconi opens the offering for the Bocconi test. And the Bocconi test will only be open between February 7th and 11th. So any student who wanted to take the Bocconi test should clear their schedule for a time between um, February 7th and February 11th of 2022. Um, and then the results from the admissions round will be published in late March. Um, typically, Bocconi um, has students enroll within three weeks or four weeks after receiving um, the admission status. Okay, we do also have a spring session um, application deadline. However, I would try to avoid it if you can, because at this point by the spring session, typically 90% of our spots are already taken. Okay, so here's just a little bit about diploma requirements. And this is maybe different for every student that is watching this seminar. For IB students, um, IB stu students, we need um, a full diploma and the recommended score should be a 36 plus. For A-level students, and there's very few of these, um, the pre-U courses must be completed with passing scores and the recommended grades are A, A, B. For U.S. high school diploma students, a minimum of three AP tests must be passed um, to be considered at Bocconi. Now, oftentimes students will tell me that their schools do not offer AP classes. That is absolutely fine. However, students do need to contact um, the, um, okay, I'm blanking on the name for the moment, but um, the, the, the folks who actually run the AP exams, and you can still take an AP exam without having taken the class, it just probably means that you're going to have to do more prep work on your own. Or of course, you can always get a tutoring company to prep you for AP exams. So um, I can also take more questions on that later. Um, and then also the recommended GPA for a U.S. traditional um, high school student um, would be a GPA of 3.5 or above. Bocconi also does recommend that students take STEM subjects such as math, physics, business, economics, um, and you know, additional STEMs. Okay, a little bit about fees and funding. Um, so the tuition fees at Bocconi are 13,000 euros per year. That is kind of a set um, rate, and that is much more economical than most US institutions of higher education. We also offer Bocconi Merit Awards, which are full tuition and waiver um, awards. We also have Bocconi International Awards, which are um, offer 50% reduction of university fees. We also have fee relief targets um, and then need-based scholarships. And I do know that um, US students can submit FAFSAs. I'm just not an expert on that process. So I don't know exactly um, you know, which FAFSA or which um, loan provider is willing to uh, allow U.S. students to use um, U.S. loan money towards their education. 
but I do know that it does exist. So it would be important to speak to your loan provider if you're interested in that. The other really nice thing about Bocconi's awards um, is that students do not need to submit a secondary application. Bocconi runs the awards kind of um, programming along with just the regular application that you've applied um, with. So no secondary application is needed. And one out of five Bocconi students are fully um, sponsored. Okay, as far as um, life on campus and housing, life on campus at Bocconi is going to be similar to what you'll find um, on campuses all around the globe and within the US. Um, it's going to be very cultural, very vibrant. Um, there's lots of student clubs. Um, there's also going to be eight university residences on campus. So there are um, at Bocconi, they happen to be 2,000 rooms. They're all single rooms with shared bathrooms. So typically it is two single rooms with one shared bathroom or it's four single rooms with one shared bathroom. And some of the benefits of our residences are we have a 24 hour doorman service and then a basic weekly cleaning service. We do have a lottery that opens typically in late May or in June. Um, freshmen students and then um, international students are given um, first priority within that lottery, but it is important to log on the day of the lottery because the student housing does go quickly. Okay, so a little bit more about campus life. Okay, so life at Milan or at Bocconi in Milan. Um, so Milan is a fabulous place, not only for an amazing meal, you cannot get a bad meal in Milan, but it is a center point of the Italian economy. It is known for its fashion design and technology. It also happens to be the financial capital of Italy. We have um, eight universities and 200,000 students in Milan. So it's very vibrant, very young, very energetic. Um, and again, I had mentioned earlier that it's home to many multinational companies. Um, Bocconi is actually located in the Lombardy region, um, which is a really great region. It's so it's walking distance to the Duomo, which you see here. Um, it, it, there's, I think it's walking distance, probably 10 minutes or 15 minutes to the nightlife um, within Milan. Um, so there's always a lot going on. Also the infrastructure um, or the public transportation infrastructure in Milan is very well developed. So it's super easy to get around Milan. Um, and then it's also very easy to travel um, to other cities within Italy. And then also very easy to travel to other cities in the European Union once you have a student visa. Okay, and life on campus. Um, again, typical to what you'll find in other um, institutions globally. We have 80 classrooms, we have individual workstations, we have IT labs, we have a library, we have a university bookstore, we have a wellness center, um, a doctor on campus, uh, three different cafeterias and canteens where students can get meals. We also have magazine, radio, and TV. Uh, we have 80 plus student organizations and those 80 plus student organizations um, organize over 200 events on campus each year. So, okay, you can definitely follow us on one of these, right? Social media sites. And then you can feel free to contact me. Um, so again, it's Beata Williams and I'm the North American liaison um, and I am located in Chicago. Um, I do have links to our brochure and to our admissions pages. And at this point, what I would love to do is just take the Q&A questions that I already see are here. So I will start at the top, okay. Okay, so the first question, um, is the information that I'm going over in the webinar similar to other schools in Europe? Um, I will answer that live. The answer to that is not necessarily. Um, 
I'm not an expert on all European schools, number one, but number two, I do partner with um, quite a few other European schools um, for presentations oftentimes, and we all have different information to share because it depends on what type of school you're going to be at. It depends on which country you're going to be at. So actually, the reality is, if you're interested in a particular school in Europe, you should definitely do some deep research into that school to see if it's really a good match for you. And I cannot speak to the other schools. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next question. What is the acceptance rate at Bocconi? Bocconi's acceptance rate is approximately 20%. Um, yes, so approximately 20%. Um, here's another question. Will I be providing ways to fund the wonderful trip to Bocconi? Um, well, I'm not really sure what that means. Um, we do have, we do have, uh, you know, students definitely take visits to Italy and we, we are actually now starting to do um, campus tours again. So if that's something that students are interested in, I am more than happy to share the dates of the campus tours. They are typically going to be held on Fridays um, for the upcoming months. So um, if students are gonna be in Milan and want to visit Bocconi um, live, then that is definitely an option um, right now. Um, so I hope I answered that question. The next question, what is the tuition and is there financial aid? Yes, tuition at Bocconi for the seven three-year bachelor's programs is 13,000 euros, which is somewhere around 24,000 um, US dollars, depending on what the exchange rate is. It's going to vary a little bit. Um, and then, yes, there are awards and financial aid available. Okay, next question. What if you already took a foreign language in high school? Do you have to take it again? So Bocconi is actually going to, um, yes, recommend that you take um, additional languages. You do have to take two languages. So typically it's going to be Italian because Bocconi would like you to have a basic understanding of Italian if you are going to be um, studying in Italy for three years. Um, and then there's a couple of other languages that you can choose from. Now, if you've taken four years of a high school language, um, and let's just say maybe it's Spanish and you want to continue in Spanish, you might just be enrolled in a higher level Spanish class. But um, I can't actually speak to how you would be enrolled in um, specific language courses because that is not my purview um, or my area of um, expertise nor my area of authority um, for Bocconi. So that would be that would be a conversation that you would have once you were admitted at Bocconi with the um, academic um, guidance counselors. Okay, um, so next question. Do you have to take the Bocconi test if you already took the SAT, ACT? No, you do not. Um, in fact, the just to reiterate again, um, the Bocconi test is an option if you have not taken an ACT or an SAT. Okay, next question. If you're applying in November of your senior year, you're not awarded an IB diploma, how does that work? Yes, okay, great question. So for the IB programs, Bocconi will actually give you a conditional admit um, based on your predetermined scores. And then once you are finished in May, late May, I think it is for the IB students, then you will submit your final scores. Um, and but, but Bocconi will admit IB students based on their predetermined scores from their junior year. Okay. Um, is there a different cost for EU citizens? Um, and I'm assuming this is a tuition question again. So um, no, there is not a different um, tuition rate for EU citizens. Um, the tuition rate at Bocconi is standard for everybody. Um, next question, does Bocconi offer, yes, bachelor programs? Yes, um, Bocconi only offers, yes, all of Bocconi's programs are business program. So the question is, does, is Bocconi only based on business and no other programs than business and economics? So we have five fields of study. So it's economics, finance, management, data science, artificial intelligence and computer science, and then political science. However, all of our programs are really taught with a business application. Um, so actually, also, maybe we can drop the 
BS um, digital brochure um, into the chat at this point. So students can take a look or, you know, link on. The brochure has a lot of information about all the BS courses that we offer. Okay, um, so next question. I'm a dual enrollment student full time. I'm in high school and take college level classes on campus. Okay, so what would be the required grades for me if I applied to Bocconi? Um, okay, so that question, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually answer that one later um, because that's a more specific question that might not be applicable to um, most of the students that are online here. Okay, or if I um, can't get back to this question, then please feel free to email me and I will get back to you on that one. Okay, and so next question for the US diploma, what is considered a passing score for the three AP tests. Okay, and if, if we have not gotten the score, uh, are we not going to be considered? Okay, so great question. Okay, so for the US diploma, as I mentioned, three AP three passing AP scores are required to be con considered for admission. Um, and, a, and a passing AP score is a three. Now fours and fives are better, obviously, they make you a little more competitive, but a passing score is a three. So if you have scored a two on an AP exam, then that will not be considered towards your application at Bocconi. Um, so I hope that that makes sense. But yes, the requirement is, is that somehow you must get three AP, three passing grades on AP exams. And for those of you who are, um, who are in the U.S. traditional high school um, program, there's a list on our admissions pages, which maybe we can drop that one now, um, that link um, into the chat um, of which AP exams are actually accepted at Bocconi. So for example, somebody had asked me earlier this week, is um, art history an AP that students can submit um, to Bocconi? And art history happens to be a class that is not on the accepted list for Bocconi. So you must choose from the AP exams that Bocconi has authorized on the admissions pages. Okay, so um, if you have additional questions on that, please let me know, I'll be happy to answer those. Um, so here's a question. Do I reside in Milan? I do not reside in Milan. I reside in Chicago, but I do travel to, to Milan regularly. I will be going in December right before the um, holidays, and I will be on one of the live campus tours that is going to be offered um, December 17th on Bocconi's campus. So um, yes, yeah, so I am in Chicago and I travel to various towns and often meet with students. Um, and with counselors and do, um, you know, presentations and webinars. Okay, so here's another question about the Bocconi test. The Bocconi test is an optional test for students who have not taken the ACT or SAT. Um, it is an option for you to take the Bocconi test, and it is, it is a test that is composed of 50 questions in logic, in math, um, and language. Um, so it's similar to an ACT or an SAT, but it is offered directly through Bocconi. Okay. Um, does Bocconi have a men's soccer team that competes against other cities across Europe? The answer to that is no. There are club sports at Bocconi, but there is not a Bocconi team. So it's a little bit different than in the US. Okay, and I think that, okay, here's another one. Okay, um, okay, here's a good question. Do you look more at the extracurriculars or the academics? Okay, so at Bocconi, the application is reviewed at a holistic level. However, um, that is why we actually ask for your resume and also a motivational letter along with your um, transcripts and then your standardized exam scores and your AP exams for U.S. high school students. However, um, at Bocconi, um, the, the standardized exam scores and the um, transcripts, your grades, are weighted more heavily than extracurriculars. So it is a little bit different than in the US system. That being said, it is still a holistic application process. 
Okay, um, here's the next one. Okay, so the next question is a an exchange um, an exchange semester question. So yes, Bocconi students in their third year can do have the option to go on an exchange program, and we partner with two hundred and eighty two schools that are global. So there are many options for you to go. Um, so the schools are actually in fifty four different countries. So more specifically, you can choose out of fifty four countries, um, a school that might be um, interesting to you to do a study abroad or exchange program for a semester. Um, next question, does Bocconi offer athletics? Um, there are no athletics, formal athletics programs, um, the way that you are probably thinking of US schools, the way that they offer athletics at Bocconi. Bocconi is not an athletic school. We are a business school. Um, Okay. Um, okay. So here's a question about, um, does Bocconi have summer semesters instead of three years? I'm not really exactly sure what you're asking there. You do, students can take summer courses, the same that they can, um, you know, again, in a U.S. program, um, but the program itself is kind of three years fall through, you know, June, um, the same way that programs are structured um, in the U.S. Um, okay, so here's a question again about Italian. If you took Italian in your, in your high school, um, you would probably be able to, if, if you've taken um, Italian in your high school and you don't want to take it again, you would probably be able to take two other languages. But again, that's something that you would have to work out with um, the academic advisor once you're admitted. I do not have any authority in that area. Um, what is the best score to get on the SAT? Um, okay, so basically the scores that Bocconi is looking for are, are closer to 1350 for an SAT and closer to a 29 for an ACT. And so if you get close to those scores, you're in the ballpark. Okay. Um, so what are the other languages you can choose from? Okay, um, so there is a handful. Hold on, let me make sure that I, I can find that for you so that I've got the whole list. Um, hold on one second, because I want to give you all of them. Let's see here. And if I can't find them right now, then I will send those to you. Okay, hold on one second, because I don't know which list they're on. Okay, maybe it's this one. Let me see. Okay, so here are the languages that are offered at Bocconi. Italian, Spanish, German, French, Arabic, Russian, and Portuguese, if that helps. Okay, so I can just say that one more time. Italian, Spanish, German, French, Arabic, Russian, and Portuguese. Those are the languages that are offered. Um, okay, here's a question about the Bocconi test. Is it proctored virtually for international students? Yes, the answer is yes. Once, the, once you've applied, um, you will have to go onto the portal again between the dates of February 7th and 11th. That is the only time that the Bocconi test will be offered. You will have to log on and you will take the test online. Okay, next question. Do we have to take an SAT or ACT in order to apply? Um, yes, you do have to take one standardized exam. It can be the ACT, SAT, or Bocconi test. Um, does tuition shift if you choose to study abroad? Yes, the answer to that is yes, because you will need to pay a different fee, perhaps to the school um, at which you're studying. Um, so yes, for students who will be studying abroad, tuition will shift for that semester a little bit. Um, so the next question is, are there any religious club centers on campus? So the answer to that is yes. Yes, I don't know specifically if there is a Muslim club, but there are religious clubs on campus. And if there aren't, then I 
I know that Bacconi would welcome somebody starting one, if that helps. They love student engagement. Okay. Um, okay. And then, oh yes. Yeah, so this was a question. There's, there's one, one question left here that I'm going to type the answer to um, at the end. So <laughs> bear with me. Um, do high school students need to take an additional year of high school to enroll? Um, okay, I have not covered that, and I'm not really sure what you mean by an additional year of high school. If you have taken the four traditional years of high school um, in North America, typically, um, then no, there is no additional year of high school that you must take. Are there any activities related to Hinduism? I, I do not know the specifics of that answer. All I can say is that there are definitely many student clubs. So it's very possible that you will find something related to Hinduism on campus. Um, are internship opportunities shared through the school um, local and do they require fluent Italian? That's a great question. Okay. So um, because there's 4,500 multinational companies that are located in Milan and 4,000 of them actually recruit our students, many of the opportunities are going to be um, in the English language. So the beauty I think of, of actually doing internships and career services at Bacconi is you have many options. Some internships will be in Italian, some internships might be offered in German, some internships might be offered in Spanish and be located in Spain. There are many, many different opportunities at Bacconi. Um, but that being said, there will be many opportunities in English and for uh, multinational English firms. English American, English speaking, I should say. Um, okay, I'm not sure what this question is. Is it limited to only high schoolers? I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what that question is um, asking exactly. So if you can give me um, a little more information on that one. Okay, I think, is that going to be, is that all the questions? Okay. Oh, okay, I understand. Okay. Um, okay, so if you um, have a degree completed at a two-year college, um, so this is what I'm going to say. Bacconi is not really, because Bacconi has very specialized programs, even as a student who has two years of college, you might need to go into Bacconi as a freshman in that in whatever particular field of study you are interested in. And um, I don't typically um, work with a lot of transfer students. So this would probably be more of a conversation to have with our admissions folks if you are truly interested in Bacconi. But my first response would be that you will pro you would probably you would have to identify first of all a program that you're interested in so again you could use our brochure as a reference and most likely you would have to start um kind of from from day one um with the cohort of that um particular field of study if that helps um okay so there's a question about room and board yes so room and board in italy um Typically rooms, um, if you're going to be in the dorms at Bacconi, they can range from 600 euros per month to about 1100 euros per month. And the 1100 euros per month is for a private studio. Um, so there's a wide range between the 600 euros and the 1100 euros. And then food costs really... Um, I mean, typically it's hard for me to say because it depends on how much you eat, how you like to eat. Do you like to go out to eat? Do you like to stay home to eat? But um, I think as a general rule, um, if we said somewhere around 600 euros per month, that could be an average. Um, but you have to give and take depending on what your personal situation might be in terms of, you know, how you like to eat. Um, I can say that it's more economical than um, eating in the US. 
Um, okay. And then is there anything different about the UK USC program? Yes. Yes, there is. So the, so this student is talking about the world bachelor in business and it's not, it's not located in the UK. It's in, located in Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, which is in Asia, right? So it's Hong Kong. And then it's USC, which is in California and Bocconi, which is in Italy. So students will do one year at um, USC, one year in Hong Kong, one year at Bocconi, and then a fourth year at one of those three options. And the tuition for that program is going to be very different because the first year you would pay tuition to USC, the second year you would pay tuition to Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, the third year you would pay tuition to Bocconi, and the fourth year you'll pay tuition to whichever school you choose to attend for that fourth year. So that is a very particular program. Um, okay, so here's a question about the dorms. Um, is it better to have a private room or a private room with a shared bathroom? I mean, I think that you can look at it both ways. I don't necessarily have the, the answer for everybody because I think it's a very personalized question. So um, I would say that oftentimes students like sharing a bathroom because it's a way to, um, you know, meet other people and see other people. Um, sometimes if you are in a um, studio all on your own, students have, might feel isolated. So even with a shared bathroom, there's a connection um, that might occur. Um, so it's a tough question, but definitely a personal choice is what I would say. So other branches of Bocconi, do they have other names? Um, so, so you can find, if you just Google Bocconi, you will find all of the Bocconi programs. Um, so if you just put in literally bocconi.edu, um, you will find all of our Bocconi programs. And yes, we do have different schools. Um, and I really just work with our um, English language programs um, for undergraduates and graduates, and that's it. So I cannot speak to any of the programs at Bocconi that are taught um, in the Italian language. Um, I do not have any information on, a, on any of those. I hope that that helps. Okay. Um, so there's a question about where are other locations of Bocconi. Bocconi does not have any other locations. Bocconi is only located in Milan. And is, is that pretty much it? Oh, the other branches. I, I actually can't speak to the other branches. We have law school. Um, we have a law school. We have, um, yeah, we have a law school, but I can't speak to any of the other branches of Bocconi. So sorry, you would have to Google, um, you would have to Google Bocconi.edu for that information. Okay, so here's the question. Are there branches mingled in dorms? Um, yes, there, there could be um, students from the graduate programs that are in the dorms. Um, the dorms are open to everybody. So it's not just to you know, North American students. So yes, you would be in a very international setting within the Bocconi dorms. Thank you. You also have a great afternoon. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. And then, so the, um, the student for this answer, I will start maybe typing the answer. Um, okay. Wh whoever may have written this question, actually what I would prefer you do, this last question that's standing outstanding here is maybe just email me privately, because this is going to be perhaps a, um, a complicated response.
Okay. Can scholarships cover dorm living? Um, so I, I actually have to check on that. There may be some scholarships for dorm living. I don't think it's scholarship money though, actually. It's probably um, some sort of awards money um, that, is, that, covers, that covers dorm living or dorm expenses. Um, I would have to check on that for you. Okay. Well, I hope that I answered, you know, all of the questions. And as I stated earlier, as you have questions, as you are interested in applying to Bacconi, please keep in touch with me so that I can help you um, with anything that you might be unsure of. Um, don't hesitate. That's why I'm here. And um, yeah, so if if there are no other questions, then I I I'll I'll, I'll wait for two or three more minutes, um, and then I think we will end the session. If I'm gonna look in the chat. Chat. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Last question. Are there volunteer opportunities at Bacconi? Yes, I'm sure that there are many volunteer opportunities at Bacconi. Um, I'm sure that through the student clubs, there's volunteer opportunities. Um, so it would just be a matter of, you know, joining either a student club or probably you could just find volunteer opportunities in the community, um, the broader Bacconi community, if you wanted. What are some examples of student clubs? There are student clubs for everything. There's sports student clubs, there's musical student clubs, there are um, entertainment student clubs, there are business related student clubs. So you will find many student clubs um, on campus. And um, yeah, I don't know if they're necessarily listed anywhere on the website, but if they, they might be, or um, something that you can look into is there's a lot of YouTube videos that students happen to post about Bacconi. So perhaps you can just Google and see if there's any sort of um, YouTube video about the student clubs that are available at Bacconi. That might be helpful. Okay. Okay, yes, um, yes. So, okay, final, or not, not necessarily final question, but yes. Um, if you wanna transfer, you will most likely have to start from the beginning as a freshman. Yes, and that is because Bacconi's programs, they're different than the US system. Um, they are very specialized, you could almost say from the start. So even within the Bacconi um, bachelor, kind of programs. It's not very easy to transfer um, from all of the programs. You know, it, transferring is just not as easy um, at a school like Bacconi as it is in the U.S. Um, so even for Bacconi students, like it's not very easy to transfer, for example, like if a student is taking computer science, it's not easy for them to transfer, transfer to finance. Same thing, if a student is, is first in the finance program, it's not that easy for them to transfer to computer science, um, simply because it's a much more tailored and specific program. So most likely you would have to start as a freshman.
Yes, you're very welcome. My pleasure. If you if you have additional questions, um, please let me know, and I'll try to you know help you. Um, but I think you would have to talk to admissions. Um, yeah, because I don't I don't think I don't really have the answers um, if they would consider credits for you. Okay. Okay, well, maybe that wraps it up. Um, if nobody else has any more questions, don't be shy. All right, everybody. Well, thanks again, everybody who um, who listened to the presentation and who's still here. And I wish you all a lot of luck. Um, and please reach out to me if you're interested in Baconi.